Yeah, I'm telling you, you're gonna have a problem. Good morning, everyone. Let's hope my service is working here and uh, you guys can hear me because it seems like it might be a little messed up. Um, let me know if you can hear me. So we are down here at the beach. Look at that, we ride at dawn. This is what you get to see. This is what you get to see when you ride at dawn. Look at that. We ride at dawn. Long Beach Boardwalk. Long Island, New York. Long Guy Land. What's up, Val? And Benny's here, fixing his hair. <laughs> all right, all right. Happy Saturday, Val. All right, so down here in Long Beach, for those across the country that are seeing my message now, my friends in Dallas and Florida and all over the place, uh, North Carolina, everywhere. We are on Long Island, which is the fish that hangs off the bottom of New York. And we are about the location of where the mouth of the fish would be down along the Barrier Island, about 20 miles from New York City. And this is where we are. Beautiful sunny day, amazing weekend ahead. So we're gonna get a message going today. So this morning uh, I got this Bible verse app thing that uh, gives me a message every day. And this morning's message was about persistence. And it basically said, if you had a friend stop by at late at night and you had no food in the house and you went on next door to your neighbor that's another friend and knocked on their door and asked them to borrow three loaves of bread because you had nothing to feed your guest and your neighbor said um you know i'm in bed for the night and my door's locked and i can't help you if you kept knocking not because of friendship but because of persistence they would eventually open the door and give you bread because you were persistent and basically to make you go away but basically, if you are persistent, you can get whatever you want. Um, and I thought that was kind of a good message for everything that's going on in my life and, and everyone's life uh, about being persistent. If you just keep going and keep trying and keep asking, you will get what you want. Never give up. Just keep going. Just keep going. Um, be persistent. Um, it's, uh, we all want things in our lives. And as soon as it gets a little bit hard, we give up on it. Um, don't give up. You know, we're all trying to diet. And the minute that, you, you know, you start gaining weight again, you give up and say, oh, no sense in dieting. Uh, you're all cr trying to better our careers and, and learn more. And the minute it starts getting hard, we give up. So continue to be persistent. Uh, the, the term squeaky wheel gets the grease. Uh, that is so true. That is so true. When you're trying to get something in life, uh, with real estate deals, every time I'm in a deal and I'm not the squeaky wheel, the deal starts going sideways because people aren't being consistent. People aren't following through. So I got to keep squeaking. I got to keep squeaking to get the contract signed, to get the attorney to send the contracts out, to get the uh, appraiser out, to get the home inspector out. I got to keep squeaking. I got to keep being persistent. And that's how deals get done. So, um, that's kind of a neat message that the Bible app showed up with today uh, about being persistent. Um, as the more I kind of get involved in some of these Bible uh, things, it's, it's pretty wild that, you know, hundreds and hundreds of years ago, they were dealing with the same things that we deal with today. Uh, there's a lot of talk on the Bible about, uh, about drinking too much and being gluttonous and all this other stuff that is still prevalent in society today. And it's always been a battle and good versus evil. So in your life, choose good, be persistent, get stuff done, and uh, you will see the difference. God rewards those who do good. So do good. And I'm going to say it again. Put your head on a pillow every night knowing that you made the world a better place. Go out of your way to stand out and do something good and make the world better. Make someone smile. So, Benny, what are we getting to this? We got we got a two for today. You got a two for message. Two for wow. two for two for Saturday. So as as Brian is saying with his message, um, being persistent. Um, you know, I had I was struggling with a lot of things. Uh, weight was one of them. Obviously, um, I was really heavy when I was younger. As I got older, I was up and down, fluctuating. But I, when I fine tuned what I wanted my diet to be like, 
I was con I was consistent with it. I was persistent with it. Um, I dialed it in, and I was just going at it every day to get to where I am today. Yes, I cheat on my diet. I had velvet cake last night, <laughs> but I know today I'm going to be persistent and get back on track. Um, and with Brian's call today, because today wasn't going to be a riding day, I said, let me change my mindset and get on that ride to get that velvet cake, to burn the calories from that velvet cake. So being persistent, we have to be persistent on a daily basis. That's just what we need to do. You want that end result, you have to do it every day and be persistent with it. You know, at the end, we all get tired with things and we just throw it to the side. And, and you know, that just not going to make us a better person. Um, that, that just helps me. I'm trying to help you. But be persistent on a daily basis. And hopefully that helps you become the person you want to be, especially with diet. Diet is number one. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Feel good, uh, do good. That's, uh, that's big, you know. Uh, get out there, you know. Part of my mission on uh, this ride at dawn is become just getting you out there moving. Um, if you come ride with me, it's great. I love it. But if I just see you out walking the neighborhood, I see you out jogging, I see you out on your own bike rides, that's my goal. I want to get you guys moving. I want to get you guys out of your funk. I want to get you guys to do better in life. Um, again, feel good, look good, you know, you do good. Um, when, you're, when, you're, when you're overweight, I've been there, 75 pounds I lost, I need to lose more. Um, you know, uh, drinking too much, we've, we've all had these battles. I mean, you know, me and Benny in it together, we've talked about it a lot. We've all been overweight, we've all drank too much, we've all been through depression, we've all had all this stuff going on in our lives that's limited us. And we actually lean on each other, and you need accountability partners in your life to make you get out of that funk, to make you get out and ride, to get you off the couch, to make you excel in your business. Um, make sure you're aligning yourself with accountability partners. Right, here's here's another big one for me. I mean, I, I don't push this out too much, but you know what? It's, an, it's a big accomplishment for me as an individual. I, I, I don't think I had an issue with alcohol, but you know what? I'm eight months clean, eight months sober. I was persistent on a daily basis knowing that I did not want to drink. Not because I had a problem, but because I wanted to get healthy for myself 100%. and for my surroundings. I'm never going to say I'm not going to drink again or have an occasional drink, but this is the mission I'm on. This is how I'm being persistent on a daily basis, knowing that when I go out to dinner with my wife or my family or whatever, you know, the alcohol is not needed. We don't need it. It's just a, it's just a crutch. It's just, oh, I, I had worked so hard this week, I deserve this. No, you could have a glass of water. You could have something else. There's a lot of things that, you know, we, I, but that's just my mindset, but I hope no, I, hope I it's, help it's, it's, it's... you guys in that way because it does help. It does nothing for us. I mean, we all go out, we have drinks, I'm guilty of it myself. The next morning you are always dragging, you are always losing positive energy, you're always losing time. Um, I don't know anyone that went out and had a drink or two and wakes up the next morning feeling good. Um, we're, we all sabotage ourselves. We all say, oh, it's no big deal, it's no big deal. And that next morning you wake up groggy, dragging, and not feeling good. And I'm no saint with it, I'm no saint, but it's just a mindset that has been coming to me that how much time have you lost in your life? Uh, because you drank one going out and drink one spending the money drinking and the next morning suffering for, because you drank um, Not here to preach to you, but it's reality. It's I, definitely know, I know reality. you guys all feel it. You know today um, we woke up, you know, no, I, I didn't have a hangover I woke you know, up. I was up at 4 o'clock this morning getting some work done and Brian shoots me a text and I said, you know what? I was supposed to go to the office, but you know what? Let me go out and get that ride in and you know what? I feel good about it. I, I, wa I, I just did my ride. I don't feel like crap today and I just hope you guys can do the same thing. Um, an occasional drink is fine, as I'm not saying you have to stop completely, but yeah, yeah. you know, it's Just it's that it's that pattern it. when it keep, continues it. to happen. You know, you're gonna wake up the next day and feel like crap all day. So it's yeah, it's, it's the just same. Not you know, when you go out and eat that fried dinner or whatever, and the next morning you're dragging. Um, don't pollute your body. You know, we need to build our bodies. Bodies are a temple. Uh, I've done a lot of pollution in my life, and I'm sure Benny has too. And uh, it just doesn't get you anywhere. So just, just make good choices. Shout out to my buddy Mark Zalan off the Fitness Ninja. Make good choices. Make, good choices, Make right? good choices. And again, I go back to all the time. Marianne Fromberger, Janine's mom that I ride with, uh, did Weight Watchers with 15 years ago. And her, she always said, if you're going to eat the velvet cake, was that the best velvet cake you've ever had in your life? Because if it wasn't, you wasted it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. If it was the best velvet cake you had in your life, eat it well, that was and last enjoy night. it. I, says, I'm, yeah. I, I saw that velvet cake. I had to have it. So, it, you know, so if you're going to cheat and you're going to do something bad, if you're going to have a drink, don't just drink the drink. Have the best fruity drink that you ever had. If you're going to have the cake, have the best velvet cake. Because if it's not the best, it's a waste of time. That's it's a waste right. of energy. It's a waste of money. So if you're going to do something bad, just make sure it's the best. So uh, anyway, that's our message. Uh, oh, we got to jump into prayers. Oops. 
Father Eugene will be happy with us if we don't pray. So, all right, Saturday morning prayers. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, we are thank you for each other, for our accountability partners, our friendship. We are thank you for all the people out in the world watching this, for all the people out there sharing this message. Um, we are on a mission to do God's work here. And we're trying to make our lives better. We're trying to make your lives better. Um, it's, it's a lot better when you're living in a positive mindset. So we just want to thank God for everything he does in our lives. We want to ask him to give everyone the encouragement to be the most elite version of themselves. A little elite shout we are, out. We are, we are elite. We are elite. That's right. We are elite. God wants us to be elite. So go be elite, everyone. Uh, amen. So if you like the message, comment below. Click, comment, share. Share it. Share everything. Share it. Share it. Helps it, us share out. It. And hopefully we're helping you out. Yeah. And good morning, Jessica. You're the rock Jess star. Jess is on there. Jess is one of our motivational experts Dawn, here. You're another rock Dawn's star. another motivational expert on here. Who else is here? Layla, good morning. Great to see you every morning, Geraldine. Good morning. Who else is on here? Bob, Valerie's on here every morning. We appreciate you. Thank you for the love. And get out there. Spread the love. Make break, the world a better place. Break free academy. Break free. Baby. Break free from the monotony. Break free from that hamster wheel. Get out and do something good with your life. Make someone smile. All right, God bless. We will see you tomorrow morning, Sunday, 6 a.m. ride. And we'll see you about 7 on the live. God bless you all. Enjoy your day. Day.